Sen bacağın o hün tüzük çıtı. Ön ödür mana de facto nip trudgin zoçnor. Global extension. Yapon Mongol. Eğim kampani zahirl. Profesör. Kril Koshik orlçı bayna. Kril Koshik. Yaponiy Kyoto Computer Gaokin sorgulin professor. Kirill Kosh 16 настай да Польшийн сурчлагааны компанид ажиллаж Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen зэрэг томоохон компаний сурчлаа хийж байжээ. Тэрээр Hollywoodын Dark Horizon Pictures, Cinemat Studios-д ажиллахын зэрэгцээ Stanford-ын их сургуультай хамтран 16K Panoramic Video болон Copic-ийх програм хангамжийн чиглэлээр ажиллаж байсан. Kirill Kosh нь хиймэл оюун ухааны хөгжүүлэлт болон хэрэглээний талаар анагаах хууны итүүгэндээ сургуультай хамтран ажиллаж байна. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please tell us what brought you to Mongolia and how many times you are here. To Mongolia originally brought me <clears throat> um, interest I had, you know, once I met um, students in Japan, students from, from Mongolia, you know, very, very ambitious, uh, extremely, you know, um, open, open-minded. And, you know, I, 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 I got extremely interested, you know, in, in, in Mongolia, you know, you know, back then, since I met students and they told me more about Mongolia, that I should come and visit. And that's actually originally, you know, visit why I even came to Mongolia. <clears throat> and, um, you know, recently I, I started to, to, you know, to be very involved in promoting artificial intelligence and especially in, in education sector. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a main uh, purpose of me to, to, to visit schools and uh, universities and, and uh, see firsthand all the students mm -hmm. and teachers. And what do you do in terms of artificial intelligence in Japan, where you are teaching, and at which university, Kyoto Computer Kakuin? Yes, KCG yeah. in short, yes. KCG. Uh -huh. um, it's one of the first private schools in Japan. Oh. Um, I'm very fortunate to, 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 um, you know, to work with them. Uh -huh. But um, artificial intelligence, you know, is such a broad subject. But um, in Japan, you know, currently, I'm, I'm uh, you know, we're, we're working as a team on, on very interesting uh, using artificial intelligence in entertainment, which is live stage and you know, controlling CGI elements. You know, we're just like in Avatar by by James Cameron. You know, the, mm -hmm. it's all CGI characters, but the actors actually were performing, controlling them. You know, how 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 uh, the characters were moving, and we're doing the same thing just. But by, by uh, the difference is that we're using artificial intelligence means uh, cameras just like human being understands what he's seeing and controls the motion of, of, of the characters, of the CGA characters. Mm. For that it should be such a fast first connection and understanding of each other's signals, right? With a person and the device, etc. And uh, please tell us about, uh, let me, let, let's talk about a bit about artificial, artificial intelligence. What is this, when it is started, and uh, what's going to do that to do with us? I think, I think you know, uh, um, artificial intelligence, you know, has been for, for, for a long time. It has many names, some call it AI, artificial intelligence, neural networks. Uh, but, I, I, you know, I originally started in, in 1950s, very long time ago, uh, this thing called Perceptron. Uh, uh, Perceptron. And, uh, you know, the scientists, they, they're actually finding a ways how to, how to teach computers by showing uh, examples you know, this is cat, this is dog, this is black, uh, black this is white. And, and by um, actually artificial intelligence is like simulating human brain, by, by, um, simulating bi biological brain, but of course it's in code, in, you know, in the software. And, and um, you know, when I first heard it about f 15 years ago, of course I was thinking of Terminator, end of the world. I think everyone thinks of artificial intelligence as like computer's machine takes over and just control the humans, or like if you think of the Matrix, you know, the movie. Uh, in some ways, I believe within half century, there's probably computers we, we will have some kind of um, uh, maybe not spirit, but they're gonna have a conscious. And um, but you know, again, it's very it's very wide, big, big subject. Um, you know, recently has been used you know tremendously in medical sector. When um, and also I'm, I'm as well um, as I'm working, I should mention in Mongolia, um, Etudian is medical university. Uh, we start to actually work very, very ambitiously in the, la in the last month and actually developed already a prototype of um, detecting skin, skin cancer just by using a normal phone. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so a nurse or not even specialized doctor quickly can, 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 you know, can use a phone, a mobile device to, to, to take a look at the skin of the patient and detect 
if it's cancerous or it's not cancerous. When you have done it? This already is, uh, actually it's already is prototype. Uh -huh. uh, you know, we're right now, you know, testing, we're taking more samples. Uh, I've been recently to Itkursk, to uh -huh. Russia, to, to, uh, on a seminar to, to do presentation. And actually Russian government, I think they, you know, they express interest. Can they use it in hospitals in Russia? And, you know, of course it's still very early stage, but I'm, I'm more interested to, to kind of, to donate this technology into Mongolian society. Mm -hmm. I really want to help. Uh, well, this technology will save tremendous amount of resources for people. It's like many other senses, and, uh, and when you have created that... This actually is it's already, we, we already have a working prototype right, uh -huh. uh, as of now. Uh -huh. Of course, we, we still want to test it more and more and more. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, from that, you know, it's for skin cancer, but it, it, it could be for, you know, to, to, uh, to, detect, to, to take a look at x-rays and detect if there is a lung cancer, uh -huh. or if there is not. So there is many different usage, but I, I think for the first time it, it, is, it will be used for, for the skin cancer detecting. And the best part actually is that this is not being, you know, funded by um, any institutional companies. Mm -hmm. I, you, know, you know, we do it purely for education. So students of medical schools, they, they, they will have access to this technology without even having any IT knowledge. And I... I, I so you download certain program to your it's phone? It's actually, yeah, it's actually, it's actually like a website, it's in a browser. Uh -huh. So, you know, students, you know, every, uh, you know, they play on their phones, they play in games, of course, but just ordinary phone you can use to access this, cl this uh, artificial intelligence uh -huh. just in your phone. So extremely powerful. Uh -huh. Well, very useful too. Mm -hmm. And I think potentially it will make you a very rich person. It's not about the money. I think it's more about cost and, and, and just to make it... You understand, know. understand. And it is not only one creation you made. So you have been doing rather a lot petty and you on, right? So what was the most uh, moving things for you? I think the most moving thing, actually the, 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 the most exciting to me, to, you know, as, as my own ambitions and uh, uh, ambition and, 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 and why to do it, you know, what for, you know, the reason, I think is to really allow young generation of students and, and even younger, you know, even from, from elementary school, all our kids, all the new generation, you know, to, to prepare them for the uh, artificial intelligence, you know, to give them, to, to allow them, besides their playing games and doing all entertainment things, you know, is to give them chance to, to really learn and, and have access in very, very easy way without any IT, IT knowledge. So, so, you know, we're trying to kind of like, you know, all this black magic, you know, as, as some, some call it, you know, all this IT, complex complexity advancement just to make it very simple with few buttons any kid can you know start to learn artificial intelligence uh, you have been working with hollywood with several studios you have been creating programs that makes uh, photos better looking audio videos changing and then to, into the augmented reality etc uh, what what brought you to this idea that it is um, uh, it, the kids matter, their knowledge, how and when. I, I think I think the, the this matter of, of, of young generation, in my opinion, is I'm feeling old already. Even um, maybe I'm not so old, but I, I think it's about time for me to kind of give a knowledge. And I, I think after after you know uh, working in Hollywood and working on films, and and I, I've been involved in a lot of different projects from databases. Uh, some government projects. I think now it's time for me to kind of give all the best, uh, you know, like s a squeeze of fruit and give that juice to, to you know, to, to, to the young generation. I can only take it so far. So I, I, I'm very interested to, to give all my knowledge in the best way into, into new generation. So then uh, you talked about the global expansion, Japan, Mongolia. What is this organization about? G global expansion uh, uh, means I'm, I, um, I believe Japan and Mongolia, they... Um, are both great countries. In Mongolia, there are tremendously ambitious students. Japan has amazing technology and, and you know, of course, access to a lot of great IT technologies. I, I believe I'm very interested in, in uh, starting exchange programs. Um, Mongolian students vi vi visiting Japan and Japanese students as well visiting here in Mongolia. And some, some sort of joint, uh, you know, exchange, exchange students programs. And, uh, of course, with this artificial intelligence in, in, involved, so students, uh, you know, already have a subject, and also I, I believe there could be some great 
great, 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 you know, a together a corporation. So I'm, I'm, I've been already visiting, you know, a f- um, few, few universities, and we're in talks right now. So it will be, it could be very, very exciting. So students will be exchanged. How long? How many at once? I think for um, probably at the beginning it will be probably a short time, and we'll be probably just selecting specific students uh-huh. uh, from Mongolia and from Japan and exchanging them so they can experience uh, you know lifestyle in Japan and nomadic lifestyle in, in Mongolia for 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 the Japanese students. So I believe at the beginning, I should say soon probably you know in early 2020 we're going to start to send back and forth students, selected ones. We've, there's probably a lot of students in Mongolia that have interest in Japanese manga, which is this animation, very, very popular. Uh-huh. And uh, it's actually a lot of things, you know, could happen. So, so you, know, we, you know, we were very excited, actually. Okay, so let's, let's look at this uh, point from Mongolian perspective, where we change a lot of opinions, ideas. And we, are look, we, we believe that this AI, if we learn properly and we work hard, it can give a lot of good opportunity to a landlocked country like Mongolia. What's your opinion on that? I believe if it's, of course, if it's in the right hands, I should say, and, and artificial intelligence, as I'm saying, in, from, from education aspect, I think it's nothing but improvement. If you think of pollution in Mongolia, um, uh, populations of sheep. I'm really f- thinking some some other, uh, um, you know, interesting, you, you know, uses of artificial intelligence. Um, but in my opinion, artificial intelligence is is to improve. We're not talking, we're not talking. Uh, it's not for money. It's not for profit. It's not for bad cause. So so in my opinion, it's very. Um, you know, moving forward. And it's just another new thing, just like internet. If you think every 10 years, I believe, there is some, some new, new technologies or new world changes, just like we had internet. Internet came, a lot of people were, were kind of uh, skeptical and afraid of it. And now I think artificial is just another step. And we probably have another, you know, every 10 years, another step. I think we shouldn't be afraid. I think that's kind of is very important, um, uh, you know, for our generation, not to be afraid of new technologies, just like, uh, you know, iPad or, or uh, you know, um, you know, any device or any technology, there's always a lot of, uh, you know, there's some fear, you know, I, 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 I believe. But in the right hands, if it's really taken properly, I, I believe education is really, you know, a, you know, a great sector, you know, to, you know, to be explored. There's, of course, medical, there's other, uh, you know, sectors. But I'm very optimistic, you know, I'm very uh, looking forward into expanding. So you said uh, AI is to improve life, for example, air pollution, certain solutions. What would be the first thing that Mongolians will start immediately feel that the benefit of artificial intelligence? I was thinking, you know, I've been also very short time in Mongolia. My, you know, I spent you know majority of time of the skin skin cancer prototype, but I was thinking, uh, uh, you, you know, about about not maybe flying drones, but some kind of balloon, remote control, the uh, balloons in the air, mm-hmm. the, you know, to scan, you know, the land exactly, in mm-hmm. in, in, in uh, you know different times, you mm-hmm. know, scan the land and really see like you know where is really you know the best. Potentially, you know, a new ground to to, to, to maybe start start a new plantation. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I mean, uh, agriculture. You know, I have in mind mm-hmm. agriculture. So, I think it will be very interesting to to to. Uh, it's not satellite image, but like you know, to scan. Mongolia mm-hmm. has a lot of amazing places, I think, mm-hmm. and and mm-hmm. I I'll be interested in into mapping. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, uh, for for agriculture purpose, and maybe potentially we, we could discover discover some areas that are mm-hmm. very su- um, suitable to maybe mm-hmm. grow some, you know, a, a new kind of plants that it, it never has been grown. Or for better pasture. Pasture, exactly. For pasture land. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, however, for that, we need to change the way how we teach the students in particular. Should we start it from the school? Then if it is, if yes, then from which age we should start? I believe for, for, for the beginning, um, I'm thinking we should start it in, in universities. Mm-hmm. In, uh, at first, uh, in England, you know, there of course they, they, they introduce artificial intelligence so early mm-hmm. age in kindergarten, just like in China, of course, China is mm-hmm. a leader in artificial intelligence. But I think, I believe in, in universities, right now, you know, we're focusing on, on uh, scientific approach, you know, mm-hmm. from, from science, skin cancer mm-hmm. uh, or some, uh, you know, diseases. But 
you know, gradually, eventually, within 10 years, I believe, we should, you know, um, transition into almost any age mm -hmm. student, you know, kindergarten, I would even say. Uh, now we understand that this with the technology of 5G, artificial intelligence will be more livelihood and the things will be connected like Internet of Things and that speed will be so fast compared with what we have with 4G. Um, what does it take to have that? Should we have that 5G so, as soon as possible or later? Oh, 5G for the internet speed. I, I, you know, even you know, me personally, even using 2G, I'm able to, to you know, to communicate. Uh -huh. I think when you're doing like video streaming, teenagers want to watch maybe YouTube in you know HD is important. Uh -huh. I think 5, 5G, um, it's probably very important for say for financial and banking mm -hmm. sector. But for, for uh, you know, a normal average student, I don't think 5G is, is yet that, you know, necessity. Uh -huh. uh, I, I, I hope it will come soon, as well, of course, but... but uh -huh. um, mm, because this is over mm. uh, the capacity we use, or...? 5G is extreme, uh, I mean, speed-wise, right? Internet, mm -hmm. if you say. 5G, uh, just like a fiber optic... Uh, um, Capacity, yes, I, I think it's maybe it's too early. I'm not sure. I'm, I I haven't um, you know researched more about uh, you know te technically about the cables and you know in Mongolia mm -hmm. like how 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 they're able. If there is investors interested, maybe Japan, maybe from Australia, maybe some other country. W living in Japan, in Kyoto, I mm. understand. Do you feel the benefit of 5G? 5G uh, is it, in Korea, for example, it's functional now. Yes, yes, Korea is functional. Me personally, even I'm mean, so much involved in IT, unless I'm, I'm thinking, um, if you watch 4K streaming videos and some extreme bandwidth, or as I'm saying in financial, you know, Forex, you want a uh, you know, low, low ping instant you know, transaction mm -hmm. uh, to the market. Mm -hmm. I think maybe very serious, just like in here, now we're doing a streaming, so, so uh, a lot of the data uploading, downloading. But mm -hmm. for average user, I believe, you know, it's, it's, it's not, uh, it's, it's not, you know, you know, such a huge aspect at the moment, at least. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is uh, not that in a hurry to come. Um, for a country like Mongolia, we believe that this uh, artificial intelligence, what does it take to understand, to have it uh, part of your life, uh, for university students, who, from when we can start, which classes they need to take, in terms of, in particular, the application of it. For, for right now, for beginning, we're we're uh, introducing um, into you know into medical university. I I think for for this stage, for the very beginning of his introduction itself, I think scientific. Science and and uh, you know bio, uh, bi bi biology students, um, you know astronomers. I think at the beginning it 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 it, um, it will be around you know scientific cir circles and students. Uh -huh. I think because it's still uh, you know I, I I don't think students should take artificial intelligence home as technology. I think they should just do it to research, maybe re research you know new planets and and there is also another very very interesting. A part of artificial intelligence, which is called um, a neural evolution, which even is, it's more interesting than actual artificial intelligence itself, is uh, its computer actually is learning on its own to 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 solve some problems. So, you know, you know, usually right now, currently uh, in medical sector, we have we are showing a lot of samples of cancer. Like this is cancer, this is non-cancer. You know, we are showing examples to computer, and computer is, you know, classifying. Uh -huh. Neural evolution, I think. <coughs> Uh, it hasn't been so exposed, actually, uh -huh. but it's even more powerful, which is basically it's solving problem. Computer is trying to solve, it's creating new formulas. Uh -huh. Potentially, it's maybe able to, to, you know, to find a way how to travel in time. Uh -huh. Of course, as science fiction, it sounds right now. But well, What is interesting, what you said is, computer, we introduce to computer data. Data, a lot. Consciously, we say this is this, Green, this is orange. that, and mm -hmm. then give, then... Computer is learning, right? He just it's classifying, me mem yes. memorizing, memorizing, classifying. Then, when a, say task comes, we make, we need to make a difference between green and the, and the red, whatever that learned. So we put there something that 
the computers they can seen. already yeah haven't seen and they can he can learn he, he he's going to try to guess his, his, his prediction he, he he'll try to guess if we would use neural evolution type of, of uh, artificial intelligence he 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 will find and create a new he's going to try to uh, you know to try to create a new intelligence so so it's more even powerful mm -hmm. but pretty much you're showing computer you know you're showing in, in front of the camera a uh, sample of something that he haven't learned and he's going to the best way to, to categorize it. And, you know, even today we're not even able to explain it, how exactly computer is doing this. It's so extremely complex, um, hmm. you know, this, this simulation. So, basically then afterwards, when the thousands of computers know certain things and they can communicate with each other mm -hmm. and they can create something, solutions that the maybe ordinary brain cannot do. That's absolutely correct. Uh, Google, you know, um, uh, you know, Google spent already a l long time, and Amazon, of course, mm -hmm. they, 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 they actually connect m thousands of computers into super networks, you know, super uh. computer, and you know, the, you know, they call it what's so called now uh, artificial intelligence. You know, dreaming, it's creating images. You know, just like art, just like artists would paint, you know, image. Computer is generating images, you know, complete abstract. Uh -huh. uh, so, so, so we're actually, you know, already starting to see this super. Super power, you know, massive power, you know, amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping on you know, myself, you know, um, some, you know, some, some big companies would spend more time on researching, maybe cure for HIV or you know, cure for cancer itself. Not mm -hmm. like right now, we, you know, we can detect is it cancer, mm -hmm. but you know, to, to, uh, you know, to detect actual cause and actually <laughs> artificial intelligence, you know, to find solution, you know, how, how. Um, you know, chemically, or how to create, you know, special antidotum, it's able to break, you know, the cancer cells. Like, that's, in my opinion, it will be the most amazing achievement. There are so many diseases that so human, many. humans right, right, so many. suffer, mm -hmm. and unfortunately many of them die of it earlier than they're supposed to. Uh, speaking about that, how, uh, how much it will be reflecting on the way we live? We live longer, or how? We live longer than if you connect uh, 3D printing technology, which recently a lot of scientists, they, they uh, 3D, 3D printers, which can, you know, print from 3D shape, uh -huh. and, and they, you know, they're able now to, to print inorganic matter, uh -huh. so they can kind of like, almost like copy you, you know, make a clone of you, uh -huh. and then print, 3D print inorganic matter, you know, some, some, you know, organ that you need to, you know, uh, you mm -hmm. know replace. So I believe 3D printing and artificial intelligence together we're really talking like mm -hmm. a, a cyborgs, you know, or like, you know, androids or some yeah. Recently, they have tested 3D printing mm -hmm. small heart, mm -hmm. which was functioning. Yes, it was yes. pumping. So tell us about that. I mean, if it is, that was size of, I think, smaller, but uh, when you, it's a matter of just the size, right? It's, uh, otherwise, it, I, I believe it's a matter of size, and they, you know, they're using a lot of, you know, um, to, uh, you know, to grow those, you know, uh, um, free printed, you know, organs, you know, like, uh, you know, inside a mouse, you know, inside mouse body, because you know, it's the closest to to the human uh -huh. uh, beings. But you know, it's, it's very, very um, interesting. I, I believe neural networks, free printing, those two technologies alone. You know, of, of course, everyone's talking about the drones now, flying drones, but the 3D printing and artificial intelligence is very crucial steps, I think, to, to really improve our lifestyle. Maybe, you know, uh, travel to Mars, artificial intelligence may be able to, 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 to design special way of creating uh, oxygen, you know, from nothing on Mars, on the planet. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, in Mongolia, we have this uh, potentially to, to, to simulate in a, a colonization on, on Mars planet. I believe it's coming soon, you know, the, the, you know, this plan. So I, I, you know, to, you know, to, I think to, to, to summarize artificial intelligence, you know, if it's, as I'm saying, in good hands, because there are always bad hands and good hands, it, it can really improve our lives. I, I'm, I'm very sure of it. Indeed, uh, in particular when, uh, let's say just a very simple example, well, simple. Uh, here we have a lot uh, kidney disease, liver disease, mm -hmm. and uh, when now Mo some Mongolians spend a hell of money, fortune to have it replaced somewhere in Singapore, etc. So the very D 3D printing of, say, uh, liver. liver. Part of liver. Yeah, liver. part of liver. And what does it take? I mean, this 3D, uh, the, the material that goes, 
should be like it's a life material, right? It's, life, it's, life. Life. it's organic matter. Yeah, organ mm -hmm. How you do that? <clears throat> Maybe. I, I'm, I'm not sure at the moment, but I, I, you know, I, I just had that in my head. Maybe from sheep, uh, from o o older sheep, use the liver. Maybe there's some similarity, uh, similarity but just use the matter, uh, use it to, 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 to print the parts. You know, just like right now, we were able to print if, uh, if there's accident and, and it's missing bone. You know, we're printing, um, you know, part of the skull. It's either metal sheet or it's made out of powder. But for the liver, I, I, you know, it's such a hu huge, because uh, liver is one organ is can be replaced, unlike brain or heart, or, or it's kind of. Uh, so I believe maybe there is even from ships itself. I'm I'm not sure at the moment, but I I will ask my uh, you know uh, uh, colleagues. Well, the the matter is uh, whatever is close to, if it is not close, even the broken say bone. Mm -hmm can be done from other materials, but still fix it. Replacement, yes, even much stronger, titanium yeah. or some. Yes, mm -hmm. it's back in the stronger. So that's already in the practice. It's already in process. In yeah. practice. Yes. And it, it gives us thought about not the, the, the people who cannot walk. They have exactly tailor-made functioning leg, right? With the materials. Artificial yes, limb. artificial limb. They all, it's already existing. It's already free printed, uh, yes. A and, and that is moving, I mean, even making mm -hmm. their life much easier than just, they have just this uh, metal. Uh, support, like? Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. blades kind of things. Mm -hmm. But instead of that, they will have a full leg that is functioning. Functional, art in artificial way. Yes. Um, I even saw recently, they, they, uh, it's even it's more interest, you know, is, is the reason they, they don't function is because it's damaged either in spine or in the neck uh -huh. connection, you know, in uh -huh. the brain. Um, you know, they, they, uh, by using, uh, I believe it's called EEK, uh, you know, scientists already are using artificial intelligence now to learn about brain, record activity when you sleep, when you do activity, uh -huh. maybe to somehow artificially, you know, connect you know, because it's all connected to our brain. Everything we move, uh -huh. or the limbs. So people that cannot walk, maybe, uh, you know, we're close into creating a new chip, a sensor, which is able to connect, uh, you know, brain with those non-connected parts of our body. And there is it's there's kind some of research. Uh, the cord. The cord itself. So it's there is no cord. It's, it's actually, <coughs> it's of course, it's, <coughs> it's, it's all electricity, as you know, from brain. It's always inputs, sending and controlling. But the, uh, scientists are very close to, to, you know, to create this connection, the damage connection. Is so it would, would it be some material kind of thing? It's a material. It, uh, uh, of, of course, it's a special. It's not fiber. wireless. It's, it's not a no, wire or something. It's not a wire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, 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 it, it's, of course, f um, uh, it's based on fiber optic light. It's microscopic and still, but artificial intelligence is heavily used in that, uh, in uh -huh. that research. Okay, um, very interesting. Um, please let us uh, tell us about uh, the particular experiment now you are busy with. The current one is, uh, is the skin cancer experiment, but I'm already thinking of <clears throat> Uh, you know, when I returned to Mongolia, to, to uh, you know, there's so many ships, right? So many ships, and uh, I'm interested to to uh, to maybe use artificial intelligence you know, uh, to 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 kind of collect the data, uh, you know, to collect the data and the samples of the ships, especially if there's any disease, <coughs> and and uh, to which ship is more healthy, where, you know, which land, which area in Mongolia is the best for the ships. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of more interested from uh, uh, you know, again, from agriculture point. Mm -hmm. So so. D you know, this I find, you know, fascinating, but of course there's always, uh, you know, always something, you know, I'm doing, just like, uh, now I'm going back to Japan in a few days, and, and we're doing, we're using on live stage artificial intelligence to control CJ, but that's entertainment, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, sector, but I'm very open to many, many different. Okay, and I hope that Mongolian students have a, a some access ambitious. to what you do. Full access, I'm, yes, of course. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Bayla. За хүн үзэгчтэй өнөөдөр манай де факто нэвтрүүлгийн зочноо Японы Kyoto Computer Kakuin гэж сургууль байна. Энэ сургуулийн профессор энэ химийн оюун ухаанаар маш олон зүйл хийсэн. Олон кино хийгээд оролцсон Холливудд. Профессор Кирил Кошик оролцлоо. Баярлалаа.